choice. His choice. His rules. His rules. <laughs> a little late. Did I do it? A little oh. late. Yeah, uh, you it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a little late because you were still talking as the sound bar went away. So, because we can't actually it, hear it either, we can just see the sound bar well, moving. You can. I've tell. noticed like, I have a delay. Like mm-hmm. so, when I interrupt you guys, it's because you got quiet for me. And then you start talking. I'm like, oh wait, crap. Well, it's <laughs> like, vice versa though too. I was telling them the, like months ago. I was like, I feel like I'm interrupting Holly all the time. That's but how I feel. There's silence. I start talking, and then you're talking, and it's like, so now I'm trying to do better about pausing to make sure nobody's saying anything, and then right. move forward because I can't hear these guys worth a crap in my earphones. We have our either. own little conversation yeah. sometimes over here. <laughs> what do you got for us this week? All right, the first question is uh, the live action Little Mermaid's coming out soon. Are you guys a fan of the live, live action movies? No. I'm not even fans of the Little Mermaid or any of those Disney <laughs> princesses. Yeah, he's things. a Jasmine at heart. No. Yeah, he is. Don't let him fool you. It's a whole new yeah. world every day for this guy. No. Yeah. Are you a fan, Greg? Yeah, of course I am. Of the live action? Yeah. Okay. I am not. I like the live action. I, I always liked se- the originals, but I like the live action. I haven't seen well. a live action that was better than original. I can't say that either, but I enjoy it you for what it. it is. Yeah. I don't sit there and compare it to the original because you just can't do that. You have to. Well, he says I have to. <laughs> it has a I Christmas got. shirt on, Greg. Yeah. God. Christmas of course time. you do. Right here. Jeez. What about you, Ollie? <laughs> no. I, I'm i just, I am a sucker for originality. And so I feel like nothing ever tops the original, especially when it's good. So, like, I love The Little Mermaid, but mm. that's the girl in me. That's, you know, I had, I have a daughter who loved the Disney movies, so we watched them all the time. But, no, when you come out, with, it's just not the same, especially with making cartoons into live action. It's just different. And I'm not a fan unless it's in person. Like if I can watch it in a play, like yeah, Lion stage. King. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I love the Lion King. Now, if I was to watch it on TV live action, I don't think I'd like it. But I saw the play. It is amazing. Hmm. It is amazing in person. So yeah, it just kind of depends. You haven't seen the live action Lion King? The play, the, not the like, movie. No, mm mm. Oh, it was good. No, I saw. What is the one with Ariana Grande? Was in it? What was that one? Aladdin. Wicked. 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 Yeah. Oh, Wicked. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I wasn't a fan, and that it was on TV, and I just wasn't a fan. Maybe if I went, like I've seen the play in Tucson, and the play is really good. I really loved it, but then for some reason, when you make it more theatrical, I'm not a I don't know. It's just weird. I I don't know. Are I'm they weird. turning that into a movie with mm-hmm. her starring in Wicked? Oh uh, yeah. Is it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Add that to the list of things I don't care about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gosh. Gee. I'm just sorry. That stuff just like doesn't entertain me at all. It yeah, just never I has. That. I don't right. hate it. I don't He's hate just, you. I don't hate Greg for cover. loving all that Disney crap, but I'm just not a fan. <laughs> Second question. <laughs> was the invention of social media a good idea or a bad idea? Mm. What do you, how do you guys feel about that? The invention of social media? What are you yeah. doing with that mermaid? I was protecting her from you. Above the table, Greg. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, was it a good thing or a bad yeah. thing? Social media? I think it was a good thing. I just think people used oh. it for bad, which is what they do with most, most things. Yeah. So. People will find the bad in things and exploit it and everything. Yeah. But honestly, when it first started, do you know how many people from high school that I was able to reconnect with that I had no idea how to get a a hold of it ever? You know, there was just no way. Yeah. Yeah. But now, it's a double edged sword. A lot of Karens out there. There is, but I I I feel like the people that I care about use it for good. Like, you know, we would have never met Holly if it wasn't for Twitter. True, right? yeah. So that's cool. They're still good, but you just got to tune out all the bad yeah. junk that comes along with it. Yeah, I would have to agree. I think that it's great that you, because that is true. Like the reconnections I had from 
high school or even, you know, when I was younger, I used to live in a different town and grew up there and then moved Same to Flagstaff. Thing. And so like just getting to see where they're at in life and stuff um, and just talk to them and be like, how have you been? What is amazing? Because I don't think that a lot of the people that I grew up with, I don't think I talked to them I, if it wasn't for social media, obviously, like mm. we reconnected because of social media. True. So at one yeah. point we were disconnected, right? So that's the good part, but there is a lot of bad as well. Um, and it's like the keyboard warriors that hide behind, you know, a profile, yes. just an asshole. So, yeah. See, and yeah. on, on that note, though, too, when you talked about reconnecting, I think mm -hmm. it's different per generation, too, because what I've noticed yeah. is we have been able to re I have been able to reconnect with my old friends. Right now, mm -hmm. nobody cares about going to our 30th reunion, which is supposed to be yeah. this month. Uh, like nobody has responded to it yeah. because we already caught up. We already know. That's, and yeah, to take like we, a weekend away to travel for some of these people is just like not worth it because of that. But then our kids, I don't think they care about social media in the same way that we care about it because they're going to have these cell phones with the numbers of these people. When I left high school and left my right. house, oh, yeah. you didn't have my telephone number anymore because I don't live there. Right. right? Now you might have been able to call my mom and go, hey, what, what's the number I can reach Josh at? But it was harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't change your cell phone number, you could call a classmate up 50 years later and go, hey, is this Joe? And if it is, then you can talk to him. But yeah, it's just different, I think. Yeah, you're right. Because when I was in high, when I graduated high school, we did have cell phones, but they were very expensive mm -hmm. to have. And so my parents, they made me get a prepaid one mm -hmm. where it's like, here's what you have for the month. If you go, yeah. if you run out of minutes or run whatever, you're done. Like we're not yep. gonna pay until the next month. So we were limited, especially with text messaging because once upon a time, text messaging was not free. It was yeah. like three cents a text. Yeah. I can remember it was yeah. 10 cents a text. Yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, well, I it was around there. I remember yeah. because you were allotted like 200 text messages, you know, and then it was like after you hit that 200, you paid this amount mm -hmm. after. So we were we didn't text as freely as we do today. No, no. because it's like it's free. Uh, well, unlimited, and so um, yeah, I, I and so I didn't really stay in contact with a lot of the people, um, but going back to the reunions our 20th was two years ago and it was just kind of decided we didn't want to do it mm -hmm. it was and and i think it's because we all kind of knew what everybody was doing and i don't know because i was on the board of that and so we had a vote and it was literally like no yep. we're good you know as Whatever. far as I know, we're not having our 30 because nobody ever responded to the post <laughs> on social media. Yeah, yeah. So. It's. Hmm. Yeah. I, same way, bittersweet. I, I'm i not really a fan of social media at all. I used to be. Yeah. But I, yeah. Like you said, people hide behind that. They create this virtual fantasy world. I know people like always acting like they're so happy and they're doing this and they're broken people oh, yeah. when you really meet them. And it's like why are you, yeah. you're creating this fake mm -hmm. that does more harm than good mm -hmm. so that's why i i despise social media i really do i agree i agree on that so much because like somebody's life you know your friends even like you see them on social media post in real life and you're like wow it is drastically different yeah mm -hmm. i mean on top of that you're not only altering how you're doing in life you're also altering your appearance yeah. so yeah. like that's another thing is you know you can change your appearance and put it out there and then when people really see you they're like holy crap you look completely <laughs> different it's not yeah. the same you person have, yeah. yeah yeah imposter <laughs> yeah, yeah it's crazy what about you i agree with you guys <laughs> I concur. I concur with. I concur with all three. All right. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes. His choice. I mean. All right. My last one is a debate between a cat and a dog. Who wins? If they can talk. A cat. For oh, sure. A cat. A cat. Yeah. Easily. Cat. Yeah. What do you think, Josh? You think Carlos would win? I have literally never thought of this before in my entire life. 
What do you think? I'm picking Carlos every time. <laughs> Carlos. So a dog. The dog. Yeah. God, I think wow. Cat wins every time. Smartest dog I've ever met, even when he's in trouble. He, is. he still listens. The fact that his name is Carlos is just so amazing to me. <laughs> well, it was named by somebody else. He you ran guys, away from his home and decided to make our house his home. I was going to say, what it's kind not of dog your is dog, he? is it? It's just a uh, Australian you. Shepherd? No. Some kind of collie. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good dog, though. But he's... He likes to he he's kind of bred into him to herd cattle, mm -hmm. but he doesn't really know how because nobody ever taught him. <laughs> so I was fixing a gate last night and he followed me out to the pasture, which is never usually a good idea. And he decided he was going to herd this cow, which is bad because if dogs don't know when to stop, they'll herd the cows right through a fence, and that's no good. And so I was just yelled at him. I was like, Carlos, and he looks at me. And I was like, inside, put his head Good down, dog. Yeah. And, ran and walked to the garage and was still sitting there when I got out of the field. That Sorry, is a Charles. And I was like, "Good, good boy," you know. And he wags his he tail and he comes sit guys. by me and pet him. But yeah. he, he's smart. He picked his home. He made his home. Yeah, he picked us. Like we didn't pick him. We didn't even know he was a like a thing. <laughs> he, was yeah. he showed up and his owner quit after about twenty times. Quit coming over to pick him back up because he lived two miles away. Yeah. They and he would just come house. through the pasture <laughs> River and, and come hang out until his owner picked him up. Yeah. So. That's funny, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. So I, I feel like I have proof that a cat will win. So yesterday, and I really wish I would have recorded it because this was amazing. So <laughs> I have, you know, I have a husky and she has a bed and my cat tunes. He likes to lay in her bed. And it's right in the middle. Like he doesn't leave her room, nothing. Like it's right in the middle. It's like it's mine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm watching and Zoe, my, my Husky is like, she does this little like talking, growling, howling kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and she's doing this to Toons and Toons is looking at her and just meowing back. <laughs> and then finally she comes, Zoe came over to me to get me to move tunes out of her bed because he wouldn't move yeah. he was like meowing at her back pretty much telling her no like this is my bed i'm laying here and so she had to come get me you know to try to chew him out and i didn't so what she did is she just laid in like the bed's pretty big tunes is in the middle she goes right in the corner and just like as small as she can get and just lays down but does not move that cat <laughs> That's not moving. Yeah. I don't understand what's in dogs' oh. brains that they don't realize that they can beat up cats. I think it's the I, cat's claws. Maybe, but it's take yeah. one bite and just bite a cat's head off. Yeah. Like, it would be oh, over. Easily, yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's crazy. Like, so I, had, I actually rescued these cats. Their mom had got ran over and all this good stuff or whatever. Not good stuff, but <laughs> wow. got ran over. Yay, so ran over my car. <laughs> my brother-in-law called me and was like, Holly, there's cats here. Like, can you take them because they're babies? So I was like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Took them in and Zoe actually mothered these cats. Like she would clean them. She would huddle, you know, sleep with them like they were her own. Oh. And so I think that's why she she won't really, she's really good with my cats and she won't move them. Like she's not the boss. Those cats are the boss <laughs> over her. So. Well, yeah. Cats Sorry, win Zoe. every time. Sorry, your life sucks. They went at my house, that's for sure. <laughs> Holly, what's your question for us? All right, mine's an easy one. So what is your go-to ga uh, board game? Ooh, Clue. Clue. Ooh, that's a good one. I like Clue. I forgot about that. Hmm. Sequence. What is that? It's a card game with a uh, board with, like, you got chips, and you got to get, like, five in a row. And you huh. gotta get Yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm going to have to look that one up and get it, because I love board games. It's my favorite. I think mine's Monopoly. Yeah. I don't play a lot of board games anymore, but Monopoly is probably the one I would play. Yeah. Monopoly's good. My clue board game is The Office. It's, it's The Office thing. Oh, The Office. Oh, I didn't oh. know they had that. Yeah. That might be I my a, favorite now then, too. <laughs> I was going to say, I've got a Simpsons one. Yeah. 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 That's the one we play on. <laughs> mine, yeah, mine is definitely Monopoly. I am like 
And I am very, very competitive in that damn game. Like I've gotten in like arguments, like literal yeah. arguments with people in that game. Yeah, I, yeah, it is definitely cheat? my game. Are you usually the banker? <laughs> No, uh, uh I don't okay. like to be. I feel like it's too much responsibility, and I just, yeah, I am more about like <laughs> strategizing for myself. Bank um, always wins. But... Yeah. Mm. Oh no, not always. Has. Oh, that's where the <laughs> arguments come in. I get banker it. only wins because uh, yeah. the banker cheats. Yeah, banker cheats. And I that can't stand true. cheaters. So no, I can't to... either. I'll like, turn that's the table like upside down. down. Yeah. So when yeah. we go out to Arizona, we're yeah. playing a game of Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we... no. Once upon a time, I was playing with my daughter's dad and his cousin. We were just like playing, and he, I, they were ganging up on me, like so. They were strategizing together to beat me <laughs> because I'm like I get crazy, and I did. I actually flipped the table, got pissed off, left the house. Like I'm mad. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> they were Holly. Yeah. <laughs> See, wow. we used to play a lot of board games that's at my house, game. but that's what ended up happening is the two girls and the wife would always gang up on me, and like certain oh. games, you get to choose who you do what to or whatever, mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. one of them would be winning, and I would be far, by, and they would do it to me, and I was like, "What's the point of me playing this game? Like, you guys just play right. by yourself. Like, yeah. if you're just gonna gang up, I, there's no really no reason for me to play." Yeah. You just skip my turn, I, you know, whatever. But so, because of the competitive nature, we don't play a lot of board games anymore. <laughs> well, my family always, anytime I'm like, should we play a board game? They're like, proceed with caution. Like, Holly <laughs> is crazy. Because my dad and my sister are very much like I, I am. And uh, it, it's crazy chaos when we play games. We play a lot of board games <laughs> so, what's too. your second, oh. second favorite game? Sorry. Sorry. No, but that's oh. mine too. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Yours? Except I really want to play Clue with the Office version. Yeah. Which is Life. Life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, it always gives me too many kids. I like Stratego. You ever heard of that one? Yeah. That's that's a good one too. Trivia Pursuit is one of my favorite. Stratego is, is that the one with the little. The capture the flag basically and you can't see the other person's. Yeah. And you okay. got to like set your board up however you want. Risk is one that I used to Risk like. Risk is too. good. Oh, Risk is a good one. It just takes Battleship forever. Battleship is a good one too. Yeah. Ooh, Battleship. Yeah. I just like. I just make letters out of the boats. There's one. That's all I do. There's a card yeah. game, the Oregon Trail, the old school Oregon oh. Trail game. Oh, there's a card game they just come out with. It's. It's badass. <laughs> yeah, oh, you gotta Oregon get to... is my it, jam. And it's everybody co ops. You help each other, but you, you may not make it to the end. Like, it's oh. one of those where everybody wins if you get to the end. Yeah. yeah. And you can die along the way. You got to write your, like, death thing. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. 